Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to show you how to convert that Excel spreadsheet into an XML data sheet. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, typically when you're trying to import data into Flash or into Flex, you need to have it into an XML format. So it's actually pretty easy to do. Uh, I'm showing you here a spreadsheet of about 458 pieces of data that you do not want to retype into an XML data page. So let me show you how to convert it. The first thing you need to do is create an XML schema. That's actually the form of the Excel spreadsheet and from that you'll do it using the column names. So we've actually created an XML schema. And let me show you that real quick. We have it up in Dreamweaver. And what you notice is only a partial portion of the data. We actually only have two data sets here. And it's important to have at least two. One won't work because it won't be able to identify how the XML schema is put together. Once you create those tags, and I just created the names and put the data in it, you want to check that to make sure it, it's validated. So I'll go to File, Validate as XML. And then in this case, I had no errors. But if you have errors, just go back and correct them. And you're ready to go. So once you have that XML schema, save it. And let's import it into Excel and create that um, page so we can convert this Excel spreadsheet into XML data. So open up a new Excel document, click on Data, click on XML and go to XML source. You open up a uh, little space here and down below click on XML maps and click on add and that's where you're going to add the schema you just created in XML or Excel and open that up and say OK and you've added it and hit OK and there's your schema right there and you can see it's the structure of your spreadsheet. It's got the investment data, it's got the period data and all those columns so let's just grab that and drag it right onto your new Excel sheet. And there you have it. There's all those columns there. And only one more thing you need to do. You need to take your original sheet, cut and paste that data. So go ahead and grab it all. And once you grab all that data and you've copied it, give me one second here. Let's just go and just select it. And then you're going to grab it all and copy it. And once you've grabbed it and copied it, one thing I like to do sometimes is just go ahead and paste that into a notepad document. Now, why did I do that? Well, the reason I did that is sometimes these Excel spreadsheets have functions associated with them. And when you cut and paste them from one to the other, you functions will be carried along with it. So I just stuck it into a notepad document, and I just kind of cleaned up the data. I do this sometimes, too, when I'm pasting into a database. I'll just throw it into a notepad, and I'll throw all the special characters out, and you'll just have that raw data. Uh, so something you might do if you're having problems. If you're not, just cut and paste. You'll be okay. So once you've done that, I'll cut and paste that into our new document. One second, let me go back and grab that data. Right-click and copy it. And let's cut and paste that into our new document. Let's see here. Right into the first slot. And there's all my data, and I'm almost ready. Now I want to do two things. First of all, I want to save that as a workbook. So go ahead and save that. We'll call it Investment Game 2 because there's only a one there already. There's already a one there already, and let's go ahead and save it as a workbook. So in case I need to go back and modify it, I can do that. And now I want to create my XML document. And I'm just going to save as. And don't save it as an XML spreadsheet. Save it as XML data. And when you do that, let's continue that. And let's see if indeed we've created our financial data. So I'm going to open that up. Let's do a quick document. Let's double click on that and open that up in Dreamweaver. And there you have it. That 458 pieces of data are now converted on the fly, and I don't have to type in hand-by-hand, hand, a real time saver when you're working with Flash or Flex and bringing data in from the outside.